Hey everybody, welcome back to Trial and Error. I'm Shannon. I'm Tom, and she's just here so that the thumbnail wasn't clickbait. All right, bye. Hey everybody, COZ actually contacted me after I produced the video to offer up a 10% discount on any of the three soldering stations that are part of this review. So definitely take advantage of that. The code is on the screen right now. And now on to the video. For those of you that have been with me for about three years or so, you may remember a review that I did on this soldering station about three, three and a half years ago. It ended up being a pretty popular review. And uh, here we are three some odd years later and it is still kicking. And it, I sw it's gotta have at least 100 hours on it now. I use it a lot. Uh, you can see it's pretty well beat up at this point, but it has been a great little unit for me. So when the company COZ reached out to me and said that they had a few more new ones, a little more up to date ones that they'd like to uh, have me take a look at and review, I said, absolutely. So the units that we're going to be looking at today is the COZ 858D. We're also going to look at the 898D and we are going to have a gander at this beautiful piece of equipment right here. And that is the 909D+. The 858D is a hot air rework station, or at least it's advertised as a hot air rework station. What I find myself using this for mostly uh, is, is heat shrinking tubing and things of that nature. It has the auto, as you see, auto turn on, auto shut off here, which is very convenient. You'll see it drop down to 100 and then eventually shut off automatically. But you also have a variable speed fan control here, which is really nice for doing IC board work. I thought for sure I was going to miss having a rotary dial for the temperature, which is what I have on my current one. Um, but the good news is, is when you press and hold this, it flies up in temp really quickly, all the way up to 500 degrees Celsius, which is, uh, that's pretty hot. So this is a very nice compact unit, um, good build quality on it. It's all solid metal all the way around and a nice heavy duty cable. So they also supply you with three different size tips, which help you with some of the finer points, no pun, in, or yeah, pun intended, finer points of desoldering, as well as a desoldering tool is included with this particular kit. So they've really packed a lot into a tiny little unit. Uh, <laughs> pun intended, not intended, maybe it's intended. Uh, but if you just need desoldering capability and heat shrinking and uh, things like that, that you would use typically a uh, heat gun four. This gives you all of those benefits, but with better temperature and airflow control. Really nice to have. So if you can pony on up to the 898D, I think you'll find that this is even a better value uh, than that blower unit because you have everything that you had on the other one. We have a nice blower on off automatic and you've got your fan speed control here. And as far as adjusting your temperature, you'll see how quickly that thing climbs too. Um, but you're just going to tap that and then your up and down arrows are here to adjust those temperatures. And then the same thing will happen now on the soldering end of the business. So for the soldering iron, this is a replaceable iron. You know, when I, uh, when I first felt these, this is three years ago, I, I, I think I even said in the video, I was not blown away with the fit and finish and quality on the soldering iron and I did not expect it to last. But three and a half years later, still using the same soldering iron. It's held up really well. And this also has the temperature probe built in, which is really nice to have so that you get real time. This isn't just a display of what we're, the temperature it's trying to get to. It's a display of the temperature it's actually reaching. So that is a nice feature to have as well. And again, one tap of that, we can adjust the temperature that you have at your set point temp in Celsius. And this goes, I think this goes up to near 500. Yeah, 480. So uh, plenty and plenty of heat there. Uh, with this kit, you also get some additional tips and quite a, quite a decent selection of it, including some with some decent thermal mass for some heavier connections. Uh, same selection of three different sized tips, just the tips, mind you. Tips for your heat gun, just a ton of features packed into a small thing. If you force me to criticize this, there's probably two things that I would like to see. One, maybe a little bit better quality base here. This is pretty thin. Uh, I mean, it'll do the job, but I'd like to see a little extra weight, maybe some steel in the bottom here to give it some heft. 
Uh, and I would also like to see a way for it to attach to this. So for those of you that are gonna really keep it portable, keeping it all together. But neither of those things would stop me from buying this in a second. Now for this bad Larry. Now this thing has blown my mind and I think it'll probably surprise you as well. Uh, as you would expect, it's got everything that the previous two models that we reviewed talked about. But in addition to that, we're gonna set these guys aside. What we have here is a low voltage power supply. And this is gonna allow you to dial in any voltage all the way from 0.1, one tenth of a volt, up to 16, I believe, 15.9 and you have your outputs here. Uh, center conductor is negative. This is DC, obviously. Right conductor is positive. Below that screen, we have an amperage readout, so that's gonna read in real time your live amperage draw off of those feeds up to two amps. So it's a low voltage, relatively low amperage power supply, but when you're doing IC board work, that's all you need. COZ then provides this really handy kit. So you've got your connectors here, which you'll just pop right in. Uh, these are also binding, these are binding posts, so you can just use it for connecting raw wire as well. But on the other end, they give you a whole bunch of different options, um, from alligator clips to spring, these are preloaded spring clips, connect right on to the end of a open raw wire, around a capacitor, resistor, anything like that. And they also give you a USB power port, which there's an additional one right on the front panel there as well. They also send you leads similar to what you would find in a multimeter because this will act just like a multimeter. We just flip the switch over from the output display over to the voltage test. And now using these two terminals, we have you know a basic but very useful multimeter built right in. And those are your cables for that. But that's not all. By now they are also throwing in solder, a desoldering tool or a pump, I mean tweezers, everything that you would need to do just about anything involving soldering, desoldering electronics, all the way up to auto related things and, and much heavier duty soldering jobs. So you would be very hard pressed to beat the value for the money here. And again, um, having three and a half years of history with these types of units, I can tell you they hold up extremely well. Now, with that said, because you're on this channel, we aren't just gonna stop there. We're gonna dig into one of these things, take a look on the inside, and just make sure that it is as pretty on the inside as it is on the outside. Right off the hop here, a couple of things I like a lot that I did not see on previous versions of these. Uh, they have gone and they have broken both the neutral as well as the hot, side of the AC lines coming in. So off the back here, we have your on off switch. And in past lives of reviewing these things, uh, they did not always break. In fact, they didn't even break the hut in some cases, but they've gone above and beyond. And yes, I checked it with the multimeter. It is breaking uh, the connection between uh, the appliance and the outlet, both on the hot side as well as on the neutral side. So that's really nice to see. We got all kinds of taps off a transformer here in the back that's doing the majority of the heavy lifting uh, for voltage control, but they also have separated out a five volt control board here and sat that sucker right in the middle, isolated from everything else, which is really good because you might be testing some very sensitive stuff. And I don't like, I would not want to see that power supply mixed with, you know, the heavier loading side of the soldering and, and hot air station. So really nice to see that they've separated that out. Uh, we got some surface mount on the back here for you know, nice effective cooling. And then as we go up to the front, let me, uh, you know, I'm gonna reset the camera so you can see that a little better. If this is what value engineering looks like, I am all about it. Um, Selastic on every connection, uh, surface mount IC chips, Nice rubber uh, condoms here over each conductor or each connector. So even if something were to go wrong and nothing's really gonna ground out, uh, great heat, uh, heat sinking capacity down at the bottom there. I know you probably can't see that in the camera frame, but um, really everything here, so, so, so much better than things were three or four years ago, um, you know, coming out of offshore. So even looking at this board, they've even, I mean, labeling the boards, you couldn't get a labeled board. 
<laughs> way back in the day. And I know, again, you probably can't see a lot of this that I can see from a different angle here, but um, each connection down on the bottom here, it actually tells you what, what it is. Um, really nice to see, and it's something that you could easily fix if something were to go wrong. Um, ten, you know, nine times out of ten, uh, it's going to be something pretty obvious. But in the few times it's not, it's really nice to be able to see what uh, what what the schematic is here and what things are doing. But I uh, again, very very impressed. Um, it is actually, I would even say this is probably prettier on the inside than it is on the outside. Um, it's uh, very very well done. So, I mean, even good wire management stuff that you wouldn't see just a few years ago. As my uh, friends over the ponds would say, it's a nice bit of kit. So I have to thank COZ for sending me these, uh, as well as for sponsoring the video. I do appreciate that. Um, please support the companies that support your favorite monkey. Uh, links for all of this stuff is down in the description. Uh, I don't think there's a, a thing on their site that you can go wrong with. But uh, as always, everybody, I appreciate you watching very much. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, and or criticisms, make sure you throw them down in the comment section below me. Otherwise, everybody, have a great day.